Like many organisations, the BBC records and stores customer data. They do it to help them accurately process TV licences, and I'm here to give you a quick overview of how the BBC hold and use your data. First of all, let me tell you a bit about the BBC and what the licence fee is for. The BBC is a publicly owned corporation governed by a royal charter and regulated by Ofcom. Its aim is to provide a valued service which entertains, educates and informs for everyone in the UK. The BBC is also the organisation that has the overall responsibility of collecting your TV licence fee. It's this fee that helps them to make the shows that you love to watch. There are 24 million places in the UK that currently have a TV licence. So whether you want to relax and unwind with your favourite soaps like Ginger, be on the edge of your seat with your favourite drama, catch up on the world news or simply keep up to date with the latest football scores, you can as your TV licence covers you to watch shows on over 400 TV channels in the UK. You can watch your shows live on any device or streaming service and this includes downloading or streaming any BBC content on iPlayer. The BBC needs to collect and maintain your data to record which households in the UK have a TV licence. When you have a TV licence or when you advise TV licensing that you don't need one, you share some of your personal data with the BBC. That's information like your name, your home address, email, phone number and payment or bank details. And remember to let TV licensing know if you move house or change any of your contact details so they can keep your personal data up to date. The BBC knows that the last thing you want to worry about is the safety of your data, so they take its security extremely seriously. It's the job of the BBC and the contracted third-party companies it works with to keep everything really secure. They make sure that it's kept in line with the Data Protection Act 2018 and UK General Data Protection Regulation, or as it's commonly called, GDPR. They always follow strict procedures, so your personal data is not misused and is only kept for BBC purposes. There's more detailed information on how the BBC handles your data, your full data privacy rights and how long they keep your data for in the TV licensing privacy policy. So now that you know your data is always kept safe, let's outline some of the key ways it's used. The main way is to collect payments for your TV license and to issue TV licenses to customers. It's also used to contact households either by letter or in person when there's no license recorded at an address. When the BBC uses the data they hold to get in touch, they'll always aim to do this in the most cost-effective way possible, like an email if they have your email address, a simple text if they have your mobile number, and if they don't have either, they'll send a letter to your home address. If you're ever concerned that you've received a scam email, text or letter, check the TV licensing website for advice on how to spot and report them. Your data is also shared with a select few third parties who help the BBC manage TV license information. They find the best ways to communicate with you, which is often through online communications. These messages are usually there to remind you that you need a TV licence. Sometimes they also prompt you to update the details on your TV licence if you've moved house. Full information on how the BBC uses your data, including your rights, is all explained clearly in the TV licensing privacy policy. When you visit the TV licensing website, you'll be served cookies. No, Ginger, sadly not the delicious kind. Some of these cookies are essential and the BBC doesn't need to ask for your permission to serve them. However, you can reject non-essential cookies in your browser settings. Just bear in mind that it may result in some features of the website not working. You can find out more about cookies and how to manage them in the TV licensing privacy policy. You know, you can always get in touch with the BBC or you can have a look at the TV licensing website and have a read over the TV licensing privacy policy. There you'll find more information about how your personal data is handled. So like me, you can just sit back, relax and enjoy great TV, knowing that the BBC are handling all the personal data you've provided them responsibly.